Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a get ready with me using my Sunday makeup basket items and just kind of chatty. Hopefully I'll be able to show you or tell you what I'm using. If not, I will try to list everything down below and let's just get started because I'm ready to put some makeup on. So I've done all my skincare. I put on my sunscreen. I use the Elta MD face tinted, it's like 44 SPF. Works really well. It does um, does really well under makeup and I don't get any of that pilling or, is that what it's called? Pilling or something? I try to wait at least 10 minutes so that it can sink in and protect my skin. So I'm just gonna start with my primers. Today I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Eye Primer and I actually have a sample of the Hourglass Primer that I'm trying to finish up. So these are the two primers I'm going to use. I'll do the face one first. So luckily our house, our family, everything has settled down as far as like last week with all the accidents and the injuries and the everything else. We're still like not sure what to do about a car. I don't want to buy him a new car, but I'm having a hard time picking him up along with all my other kids at the same time. So we'll see what we do, don't know, but. I, let's see what else is going on. Our life is somewhat boring. Well, I'll just do the makeup until something comes to mind. So eye primer, I love this. I know I've talked about it 300 times, so I won't talk about it. Um, I am going to be using my, it's the Real Technique sponge the Physician's Formula Foundation today. So I've used it, today is, I'm filming this on a Tuesday, so this will be my third day using this foundation. And so far I like it. I mean, I knew I liked it, but I, I, my opinion is staying the same. So, and as I will use this Revlon mirror to kind of make sure it's blended all the way. Yeah, I don't know. So, or maybe you guys can see that my hair has changed. I did get highlights in my hair again. I know usually people go darker in the winter and I had highlights in the spring and then I kind of just got tired of them and so I thought, okay, I'll put, I'll dye my hair back to its original color and I did and I missed them like the entire summer. So I went dark for the summer and now I'm going light for the winter. So I like to do things backwards, I guess. But not that I am one that has to follow what the rules are, but I don't care. I wanted to go a little bit lighter and I actually got probably more than I really wanted, but it's only been like, it happened yesterday. It's only been one day. No one in my family even noticed. It kind of bothered me because I feel like it's a big uh, difference. I will say I'm thinking about posting my video about my, I had a, I had a son pass away from SIDS. I filmed the video probably May and then I just couldn't bring myself to, oh, I have like sun. Hold on. Is that better? That seems to be better. I, um, put, I never public publicized I never downloaded I never uploaded it so it's all done but it just gets it's a personal story but I know that when I went through something when I went through it not something when I went through that all I wanted to do was talk to other people that had you know similar situations whether it was exactly the same thing or just had lost a child and so I feel like if I posted at least I didn't find many videos back then of people talking about SIDS or um, exactly what it is and stuff. I mean, everyone knows generally what it is, but they don't really know what it is, I have found. So, because people seem to think it's something that can be prevented and it is not. So, or it's something that a parent does wrong and it is not that either. 
And besides that, all of us parents mess up. So it's not, it, it has nothing to do with doing anything wrong. Anyways, period. But even if it were, every parent messes up. I mean, I could probably sit here for hours and tell you all the stupid things I've done as a parent. But I am really having a hard time. I don't know if you guys have teenagers. Just, I've been so stressed over the past two weeks worrying about, I'm gonna do concealer, just these two. Worrying about the choices that my kids are gonna start, not choices, the influence my older kids are starting to have I will say, I, my oldest is a junior in high school and he has been so easy. And so maybe we were just way too lucky because he, besides driving, he really has had no issues, like nothing with drugs, nothing with friends, nothing with girls. He's had girlfriends, but he's just an all around good kid. I don't have to worry about him. Now I say that, something will happen. Isn't that how it always happens? Or it always happens. Anyways, so he, for the most part, really no issues. Um, he's involved in school, gets good grades. I mean, like I said, the typical issues as far as grades and plays sports in schools. He's just a really happy, easy kid. And so now that my daughter is now a freshman in high school, I'm just so worried about her, like, because girls are just more emotional and I feel like we make decisions based on how we feel. We don't think as rational all the time as boys. And what I mean by that is, and I don't, I'm not saying this has happened with my daughter, but it scares me that it could, like it worries me. And like, I could, I could get mad at my son, we could have a fight, whatever. And I know that he will go to school the next day or whatever and be fine. I feel like my daughter, if I make her upset, I'm afraid she's gonna go and make a stupid decision. And I know that probably sounds so ridiculous, but I'm not, I'm not joking. I mean, the influence that these kids have on each other at school is so scary. I mean, I know most parents don't want their kids to do drugs or have sex or all of that, but reality is they are offered it at least once, but that's probably obviously very low balling it. At least once and knowing that they're going to say no or have the right answer. And so like I was talking to my son about it because the big thing is vaping and it is so bad for you. Like, I don't want to get into a debate if you do it, but as far as with children, it is so bad for them. And all I know is that I was told I would not be here if I smoked, I would have died last year. And that alone, I would think would make my kids make good decisions. So knowing that I would think would help my kids make good decisions, but I just don't feel like kids listen. And we've had so many deaths from kids vaping that again, I would think that would scare kids from doing it, but it just doesn't, or even, I mean, drinking, I mean, the things that it can cause. I watched, you know what started all of this was I watched that show, 13 Reasons Why. I got through the first season and half of the second season and I had to stop watching it because I was like texting my kids at school, like, are you okay? Um, you know, if you're bullied, let me know. If you see bullying, you stop it. You, and th I think I was driving them nuts, but it just, it made me, and then it got into the part, part where they take drugs and I was like, okay, I can't, I can't watch the show anymore. It's, I'm, I'm turning into a psycho mom that's like bugging my kids every five seconds. I just, I don't want my kids to get stuck doing something. And I'm a very involved parent, probably more than I should, I admit. I'm going to use my um, Marc Jacobs Dream Filter for my setting my under eyes and contour. Um, let's see if I can find my brushes. Oh, okay. So, okay, I just put, <laughs> 
I just put bronzer under my eye. <sighs> Luckily, you can't really see it. Okay, good. Oh my gosh. That's how flustered I am. But, so with my daughter, I just think she... Okay, so so okay, so with my son, it made me ask him, and I've been talking to him about vaping and drugs since he was a freshman in high well before that, but really since he was a freshman in high school. And I told him just to keep talk to me. Just let me know what's going on. And so he he told me a few times he was asked to vape. And he always said no. And that was that. I never really discussed it anymore I just because he said kids will do it in class like where are these teachers so when I was taught so that was when he was a freshman so I was talking to him recently about it and he and I said do you still get asked to vape and he said that no not really he has a few times where kids will be like hey do you want some oh wait I know you don't do it and I thought that's awesome, like, you know. My daughter, I found out one of her friends vapes and it freaked me out because I knew they were hanging out and it, it just, it scared me. And so I was asking her and she says, everyone does it. Kids will leave class, go to the bathroom and do it. And it's like, I, I just, I don't understand where, I know these teachers aren't there to babysit, but at the same time, shouldn't they be watching? I don't, or don't let two kids go to the bathroom together. I mean, I know one can smoke on their own, but at least don't encourage them to do it together. I don't know. I don't know. I, I am, I'm scared. I like, She's so emotional. She's so up and down that, I mean, she could be fine in the next minute. Life sucks. Okay, I'm making muffins and they keep beeping. Hold on. All I know is that she could be happy one minute and the next minute she is pissed. Like, you would have thought we had just had a big blowout or she got in trouble and I'm like, what did I do? Are you mad at me? Did someone here do something? What's wrong? And maybe I shouldn't give in to her behavior like that, but it scares me that she's going to go to school and be like, life sucks. I'm just going to do it. I could just, and I know I should just trust my kids. I just, I'm panicking talking about it again. I'm just, I'm really scared. It is such a scary world. I know drugs was around when I was a kid. I was telling them I had this boy that used to come to my biology class every day high and he said he could oh, he got better grades high than he did not high. That always stuck with me because I thought, okay, I don't understand that. But someone actually told me later that maybe it relaxed him enough to learn. Maybe he had ADD or something. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to use this Cheek Pop Palette in the Cool Pop. I just saw they came out with a warm... Um, a warm one so I might get that let's do a color I think I'm gonna do this darker one on the end it's kind of more of a of a neutral blush I don't want to say it's I wasn't sure when I was saying what it was in my haul and maybe I haven't even shown this haul yet but if I have I was saying that um It looked peach, but I think it's really more of a neutral nude. Okay. And I know I go over with my brush on kind of the rest of my face, but I don't know. I think it looks nice. Oh, I really like that, actually. I really like that. Okay, hopefully they are... Okay, they were done. I really, really like this color. I think it is gorgeous. Okay, so... I know I need to do my brows. Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to turn the camera off and do my brows real fast and I'll be right back. All right, so I have my eyebrows on. I think I got them pretty even. It's like funny. If I look at this one, I'm like, oh, that looks good. If I look at this one, oh, that looks good. But I need to get them like right on. Okay, 
So I think I'm going to set my face really fast. I'm just going to use this ambient lighting and dim light from Hourglass. Um, anyways, so I was just complaining about parenting. It's just a scary world. That's There's that. Um, what else? I'm so excited for some of these new makeup releases. I just... I'm so excited. I want to get the two Benefit Cheek Palette so bad, which I already own pretty much everything in them, or I do, and I don't know why I need them, but I want them. Okay, for eyes, what should I do? What should I do? I don't want to do, oh, I guess I didn't do highlight. I guess I'm going to do this highlight. Um, I think I'm just going to do the daylight one on the end. I don't know. Oh, that's bright. I was doing more of a natural. But let's see. Let's get that. I can't blend out with my same brush, blush, brush, brush, because I feel like it just keeps putting more and more highlight on. But I don't know. Let's see. How's that? It's so pretty. I love that blush, you guys. That's I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but that is probably one of my favorite blushes now. And I've used it one time. Okay, so eyes, let's see. Maybe I'll do this Revlon. I need to open it because I haven't used it. I've used the Naked Basics. I've used the ColourPop palette. That's it, it's only been two days. So I've used those, so let's try, how do I open this? So you get a little brush, that's kind of neat. And then, let's see how color the color is. Okay, so it's very light, I think I'm gonna use that, that looks really pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this on my lid. So let me do a, crease color. So I'll open up the Naked Basics and I'm going to go into probably Naked 2. So like this one and then maybe this one too. Okay. I got to hold my thing. Anyways, so there's a lot of makeup releases coming out. I'd be like, I think I want to get the rum, buttered rum palette from Two Faced, I can't decide. But I keep hearing such good things about it that it makes me want it. I never got the gingerbread palette last year. It just didn't, I know people loved it and I did kind of regret it when it came like February. I was like, oh, I should have got it. Cause I don't think you could get it by February. And, or what, so whenever it was, the beginning of last year or this year, I kind of was like, oh, I should have got it. And so I thought, well, whatever they come out with this year, I'm going to get because I don't want to regret it. Well, I don't like this extra spicy one. I think it's actually kind of ugly. Like it doesn't have, I don't know. And then I did see, I think it was it Emily Noel compared them or I can't remember what I saw, but she did something. Maybe it was an, uh, looking at all the holiday stuff she had just bought in. So I am going into that little bit darker color just to darken it up a little bit. Um, she said it wasn't as good. And so that kind of just sealed me not getting it. I was like, well, if she says the other one's better, I just should have really got that one. But I didn't. Okay. Now I'm going to go into this. Maybe I'll just use this brush because I just want to lay it on my lid. Okay. Let's see if I can do this while I hold it. So let's see. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so pretty. That's like definitely a like everyday shade for me. Like if I don't want to think about what I'm putting on. It reminds me of Buck, 
by Urban Decay. That's probably one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow. Like, I can wear that and I just know it will work every time. Which is why it's one of the products that I leave in my makeup bag because if I don't know what to do or I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to like really think about it, I know that I can put that on and or I know and I know how to put it on quickly that it will work. Okay, so what I've noticed is this is a very cool color. Um, and my crease shades are very warm. So it is not blending together very well. But that's okay, I'll figure it out. But that's the only thing that I I can I see right away is that it's it looks almost not silly, but it looks not seamless because one is cool and one is not cool. Um so I think I'm going to go into this WOS, whatever that means, and try to just blend out this warmer shade a little bit, or soften it maybe is a better word, just so I can, I mean I don't mind to have cool and warm tone on my eyes. Um, because I definitely love Bobbi Brown Camel. It's probably another one of my single shadow favorites that it brings my eyes out. It's, I mean, I've, I've, it works for, I think, any color eyes. And I wear that with Buck and Naked from Urban Decay, and those are on the cooler neutral side, and I can get them to work together. So I'm not worried. I don't know, I really like that color. I got like something right here, like it's not coming off and I'm afraid if I rub it, it will take my makeup off. But it's like a piece of, yeah, it's not coming off. I don't know what to do. It's like a piece of concealer that I didn't rub in. And then it dried in a big patch, so. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a powder liner and I'm gonna get into this NARS one. So I would say this is really good. I really like it. I obviously don't know the wear time yet, but first impression, I like it. So I'm gonna use, I think, this blue color for my liner. It's kind of what I was wanting to do. I don't wanna do, I have, I run a youth group or I help with the youth group on Tuesdays and I don't wanna look totally insane or else I probably would've done something exciting, but I mean, not that they would care. I just want to feel a little comfortable. So I'm just going to line. You might not even be able to tell it's blue. I'm just going to line my eyes. And I usually like to do thicker at the end and thinner. I don't do cat eye. I don't think I've ever really done it on me. I don't think I can. You can kind of tell that's navy. I don't know if you guys can even see a difference, but I like it. And I will also put this under my eyelash line so that, I don't know why so that, so that it goes together, I guess. It's almost like I can't talk with, um, doing that so and then when I do under my eyes I never go all the way I usually just go I don't even know if I go halfway I kind of go like almost a halfway but not really and then I do go a little far out so I don't really do a cat eye but I guess you could see or tell that it kind of flicks but when I do that I usually then try to take that line and I blend it up. So it's not like total cat eye-ish. Here I just talked about how I don't do cat eye and then I feel like I kind of did. But I'm trying to smoke it out a little bit. So this not might not be everyone's everyday makeup look, but I like it. 
I do like these. I think that liner looks really well. I know you can use these wet. I have never done that. I'm always afraid it's gonna ruin my shadows. So I really never, ever, ever do that. So, all right, I have that. I just need to do mascara and lips and then I'm done. So let's see, mascara I'm going to use. Oh, where is it all? I have the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I know I can't use that one on its own. Okay, and I have the superhero one. I still haven't opened the Ulta one, kind of not hopeful for it, so. But the Charlotte Tilbury one, I think I'm gonna throw it away. I think it's actually um, pretty much dried out. But I'm gonna put some of the Charlotte Tilbury underneath because I don't really do a lot of mascara under my eye, just a teeny bit. And since this one is so dry right now, it works. All right, I did get a little bit above my eyes, but I think I'm gonna let that dry for a minute before I try to flake it off. But let's do lips. What color do I wanna do? So I've already worn, I know I didn't talk about specifics in my video because I kind of was running out of time, but I've already worn Roseberry from Lip Sense and B Ruby. And both of them, I didn't like, they, they were too red. But I also used the rose gloss with them, so that could have been why. I think today, I'm gonna try a different color altogether, and just the normal glossy with it, just the normal clear glossy gloss, whatever they call it. But I'm gonna do Belle, and this color I actually hate. And so the reason I'm doing it is I'm wondering if my tastes have changed since I probably wore this a year ago, maybe in the, maybe winter, but it's been a long time. So I'm hoping that my I may have changed my opinion or it could have gotten better. And if not, then I think I'm just gonna throw it away because I'll never use it. I thought I could mix it with other colors, but this comes off really brown. I'm wondering if I need to get a new one because someone told me they used to be dark brown like this and they've lightened up but I just don't know if I wanna waste more money buying this. Is it even still around? I don't ever see anyone talk about these. I have so many I need to use. And once you get it on, it's all done. And it should stay for, seriously, I can go eat lunch right now and I will still have it on for quite a few hours. So these really are great and long wearing. So this is my look for today. Sorry this get ready with me isn't really entertaining. There's like nothing going on that I can talk about except for drugs and I don't know how many of you like talking about that but if you have kids let me know if you're worried or if your kids are grown do you just get to a point where you trust that they will make good decisions because I've got to that with my son but he's not as emotional as my daughter anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you use any of these products and what you think um, after seeing this, I highly recommend this Clinique palette. It is gorgeous. I am loving this cheek color. I hope it is coming across on the camera. I don't think it is, but in person, yeah, these lips are too dark for me. So I probably, they're like 25 bucks. Like, I don't, it's a lot just to like toss, you know? Well, anyways, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be my Sunday makeup basket on Sunday. So I will see you then.